Coming up after the break, it could be the answer to owning a home in Auckland. Nā, kua oa ti te kā wanatanga ki te whakawātea whenua tū mata whānui kia tū ai he whare ki runga hei whakamauru ake i ngā take whare ki roto o tāmaki makaurau. Nō muri tonu mai i tērā oa ti a te kā wanatanga i roto i tana tahua pūtea o tēnei tau ka ore ore te hunga whakawhanake whenua mei kore noa e tūpono ka whai wāhi rātou ki te whakatinana i taua oa ti. I korero tā tātou kaikawe korero a Kamen Pārahi ki tētahi oa ua rōpū whakawhanake. A, kai a rātou pea te tauira, hei āwhina i te hunga e hiahiana ki te hoko i o rātou whare tuatahi. Tēnā tātou katoa, ko wirihana takuira hau, ko ngā waka tātai takuira tēnei, nau mai haere mai ki tō māua whare. Come on in and we'll show you our whare. Wolfie, wirihana takuira is proud of his family's first home. Chill out, watch a bit of TV. He doesn't mind showing it off to people who are curious about how this young Fano, earning less than $95,000 a year combined, could afford a brand new four-bedroom house in Auckland. Nice new kitchen. Is our kuri tokena. <laughs> it's not massive paddock, but um, I mean it's enough for the kids and to chill out in the summertime or have a barbie. Okay, Fano, we'll head upstairs and show you the rest of our party upstairs. Just in here. Wow, my partner's wardrobe room, pretty much. <laughs> in here is where we sleep. Kāre pia he kupu e tāi te whakaahua i te tino koa i te kahakare tāi te kimi kupu. He mea tino miharo i te te I te mea i tai mai mātou i tō mātou, i te rātou o mātou whare, e tino pauri te āhua, he mātao, he makariri, kāri te haumaru mo ngā tamariki no te tata ki te huarahi. Nice and pretty and pink. Ka tai mai mātou ki konei, pēnei te mea he wāhi puta noa i kei manu rewa tonu, engari ki te tai mai koe ki konei, he pōhehe no te tangata kāre koe i manu rewa, he pērā rawa, Te haumaru, te atahua no hoki. I mean, this is our home. We love it. Um, just like to thank everyone that's helped us get here, and um, and hope that the, uh, the the housing foundation can help a lot more. Fano. The home is one of nearly 300 being built in this new subdivision called Waimahia. It's 25 minutes drive from downtown Auckland and the property developers are focused on affordable housing for low income first home buyers. It's for our kids really to get a head start on, on life and, and getting into our new home and being able to own it. I mean, um, we've already started doing work on our gardens and planning this and that, you know, it's, it's, it's good that you can, you have that sort of freedom and you can do that sort of thing. The average rental cost for a four-bedroom home in Auckland is $617 a week. Wirihana and his whānau pay $500 on a rent-to-buy scheme. Whatever equity the home gains while you're in it renting, um, the Housing Foundation give you um, what it's earned um, in value over that time uh, is to add to your deposit. So, yeah, <laughs> I mean, it sounds too good to be true. We thought we were a bit um, sceptical, but... Yeah, it's all in writing, so uh, there's no going back. <laughs> Janice Thompson helps families get into and stay in their first homes in Waimahia, offering them a variety of payment options and support. Typical story is that they're hard-working families, you know, um, often working two or three jobs, um, paying high rents. Um, often they're carrying a bit of debt from whether it be bank loans or finance companies. Uh, they may have some issues with, um, with the credit and um, as a result of that not able to secure a home loan. What do you like about Waimahia? What I love about Waimahia is that it gives ordinary families the opportunity to own their own home, to achieve a, an aspiration that they've held but never been able to, um, to see come true. 
Waimahia is being built by a four developers partnership, including two charitable organisations, the Māori Trustee and Auckland's 13 iwi, Ngā Manawhenua o Tamaki Makoto. The land here, 16 hectares of greenfields development, basically that was um, sourced from the, the Crown and the partnership put, um, put a proposal to the Crown and we were able to source this land. And we were able to now put up to 300 affordable houses on this land. A first right of refusal was offered to the Auckland tribes, who joined the others to build here at a cost of $120 million. The government put in $30 million. A three bedroom home you could get for just around $400, just a tad under that. Three bedrooms, lovely big home, 125 square metres. Four bedroom, we've got three four bedroom plans, they're all around 150 square metres. Those sold for just around the 460, 470 mark. So do you make a profit? Too soon to say. Our prices don't really lend themselves to great margin, um, but if we do, the profits we ploughed back into assisting other families get a start. The government announced it will release more public land in Auckland, giving the developers hope they can recreate Waimahia elsewhere. Obviously we're, we're talking to Council and the Crown. Yeah, we are looking for land where we can replicate something like this. This puts Auckland's iwi in a strong position to help fix the city's housing woes. But as a starting point for the future of Tamaki to be involved in infrastructure projects, especially housing for our people, uh, we have a track record with Waimahia and our people want to be at the table. We want to be leading developments in Tamaki. Ngā mana whenua's treaty settlement also means the government may have to sell Crown land for houses to them first. If certain criteria are met, such as the Crown wanting to achieve social outcomes and before they bring in any third parties we will have a first right of participation. Waimahia is a mix of social and private housing with some houses being made available for low income renters. But not everyone's welcome at Waimahia. Property investors have been told to take their money and invest elsewhere. These homes won't be sold to them. We've said all along to, to the, the buying public that we don't sell to investors, we'll sell to owner-occupiers. So it's a little bit unique in terms of Waimahia and Laird. We, we do have some houses that we offer to the, the private market. But you can't stop them if these people sell their houses? We've got a residence association here which is crucial to us trying to facilitate community engagement, creating a neighbourhood. So that's what we're about as, as partners, as, as developers. So we think the family's going to come here, love it, stay here. They won't want to sell and go on. Woody Hunter says his whānau isn't going anywhere just yet, but expect to move on in a few years. Until then, he's happy to provide comfort for his children in their first home. I'd love to see more projects like this. We've already told some of our friends about this one. They've been fortunate enough to make it into um, further, or further into the development. But there are still um, so many of our friends that are, well, they were skeptical at first, but now that they've seen it, they, they want to jump on. So hopefully there are more opportunities around for, for more people.